John, great win on Tuesday against Sally Hill and securing our place in the playoffs. Yeah, absolutely delighted. I think it was um, it was always going to be a tough task. Bearing in mind, we just come out, uh, off the back of the uh, Wrexham game, so it was a case of after the Lord Mayor's show, but uh, we got the job done uh, and um, we're, we're just pleased to, to, to get over the line in terms of getting into the playoffs. Now, Harry Smith, of course, got the goal. He had a difficult first half of the season at Exeter, but since he's come here, 13 games, eight goals, he really seems to be enjoying his football again. Yeah, and we're enjoying having him as well. He's been he's been terrific for the club and given us a boost just when we needed it. And obviously, allied to what uh, Nicky's given us as well, his 19 goals this season. You know, it's, it's been a potent uh, 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 attack. Another lone sign that's really impressed. Uh, today we announced that Finley Potter was Player of the Month for March. His first sort of professional games playing here at Barnet. How great has he been since he's come to the club? Been a breath of fresh air. I think he's uh, he's. You know, it's the saying about having uh, old old head on uh, young shoulders. I think he's he's definitely that. He's uh, showed fantastic composure, and uh, he's also got a couple of important goals as well along the way. So he's, I think he's given us a, um, just taking care of that left side, um, and, and you know, fully deserves, fully warranted his uh, his player of the month award. I think he's been terrific, really, really good. And of course, he's been a part of a defence that's now kept three clean sheets on the bounce. How important is it for the team not to be conceding goals? I think it's always important. Um, doesn't matter where you are, but uh, I think specifically going into to what is going to be a, a, a playoff situation, I think it's important. It's good for confidence, certainly the, 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 the back line and the keeper, they're keeping clean sheets. So it bodes well for everyone. Yeah. Two games left to see. Obviously, we've already got the playoff secured, but how important is it now to try and get that home tie for the eliminator? I think it's really important, um, you know, uh, and we'll be doing everything we can, to obviously, to, to secure that. So, starting uh, with tomorrow at uh, Maidenhead. Yeah, that does start tomorrow at Maidenhead. They're a team that uh, still fighting for survival, so it'll be a really important game for them as well. What sort of challenge can we expect from Maidenhead tomorrow? Oh, it's going to be a tough challenge, uh, uh, you know, when you consider. Um, They've actually they've just recently drawn with their Wrexham and at Chesterfield, so we know it's a very difficult place to go. And you know, Alan's uh, uh, De Alan Devonshire's teams are always difficult to play against anyway. Though. So they'll be fight fighting their corner. Um, do I think they'll go down? No, I don't. Um, I think Torquay have had a terrific run, um, but I think um, Alan's team will, will, will prevail. And uh, but it, nevertheless, you know we're going there. We need to, we need to win this game. So it's going to be a, it's going to be a great contest for different reasons. And finally, is there any update to the team? Uh, no, not really. I think um, the team's been ticking along nicely. We're getting bodies back. We're we're pretty much there. Uh, you know, uh, winter's still out, unfortunately. Uh, so he'll be on the on the sidelines. Other than that, I think pretty much everybody's. Uh, back uh, Hawley as well that he's uh, he's back training so um, we're, we're, we're pretty much you know I say every week we're in good shape and I think we are in good shape for this one John thank you for your time Thanks very much.